Okay. That has made us grim. We haven't always been grim, and it's the pride, the winning attitude that made us grim. It made us want the nation to know who we were and where we were. And this is what you got to do. Maybe I'm silly as hell to stand here to ask you to do it. I don't know no other way. Winning is the name of the game. They're going to be there trying to get us, and you've got to get them. All right, let's have the prayer and let's go. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Have to go. Basically, I think outside of the box. One of the things I'm looking at is I'm going to flex my football knowledge as well. My dad's from Michigan. There's always been a school up there that my dad played for back in the day. It's Grand Valley. They're Division Three, But their tradition... It's like no other. Their stadium is like no other. Their current coach name is Matt Mitchell. They have two current players in the NFL <laughs> at Division two, uh, three school. Matt Mitchell was 95 and 28. They've had coaches like see Brian Kelly, he's now the coach of Notre Dame. But the one thing that Matt Mitchell has done. He has helped galvanize the alumni. And that is one of the things I think Grambling needs the most. You want to get the alumni together so that they can help build and update facilities. One can argue facilities in this Division Three school may be better than Grambling's. We remember back in 2013, we remember seeing the CNN reports about how the facilities were. Yeah, I do understand the SWAC is a HBCU. I get it. Historically black conference, college, university, I'm sorry. And Grambling is one of the biggest best, biggest known HBCU. But eventually we have to think outside of the box a little bigger. So what I would propose is giving Matt Mitchell a chance. Now there is no belief that he'll come up there or come down there. But if you want to get a, a, a coach who can build not only the facilities we need, or you, Rambling needs, but also build a coaching staff for a cheaper budget than Rambling is willing to pay. This guy should be one of the top on your list. He's the only he can do it, Grand, uh, Grand Valley. The Lakers have won two titles under him consistently in the playoffs. Take a shot. Worst comes to worst, your alumni base will donate more money. At the end of the day, isn't that all HBCUs really need? More financing to do what they can do best? I'm Coach Simmons. This has been a long shot.
Coach Simmons always do a great job.